Okay, so quick story time. I'm in New York right now. If I look tired, it's because I am clearly, uh, I'm not used to New York life of going, 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 going until you just pass out or just decide not to sleep. But I am adjusting. So I'm squeezing in this video um, so I can do all the things that I tell my clients to do, which is follow through with your assignment for the day, regardless of what happens or how it has to get done, you just get it done. So um, I said I would tell this story because we all get caught up having like a very hypocritical moment slash these slap you in your face moments, right? And I've been really trying to focus on this just no judgment life, meaning understanding that people are where they are just based upon like the habits that they have you know, the mindsets they've been in and that we all come to the table with something. So rather than judge, just maybe try to help people get the tools that they need, maybe influence them to make better decisions. You know, so if you see me out here with some craziness going on, give me some information, you know, ask me a question to make, make me think about something differently, you know? So I'm walking out of the local family dollar. Yes, I do shop at family dollar, especially for my household essentials. Reason why It's because I don't want to buy anything else when I'm there. So I don't impulse buy anything. That's the only place or one of the few places where I can just walk in, get exactly what I came for and buy nothing extra. And typically that's where I buy my cleaning supplies. So, which I don't recommend doing at Target because you will go in for cleaning supplies and leave with a TV, a pair of socks from Disney, makeup, um, a cute shirt, some jeans that were on sale, you know, some socks for bay, you know, like it, whatever it is, you're just going to come out with something crazy. So anyway, I'm walking out of Family Dollar and this homeless man is outside and I mean, he is in bad shape. I'm saying like, you know, I can just tell he has like fluid in his eyes. He's like snotting like crazy you know, like he's just in really, really bad shape. And so I walk out and he's like, hey, do you have 50 cents? And so I'm like, okay, you know, I'm still believing that whole thing. Like, um, you just never know. And if anything ever happens to me or any of my family members and they need something, hopefully the world will somehow find a way to provide for them in their lowest moment. That's just how I feel about it. So as I'm giving him the money and everything, I asked myself, oh my, like, clearly you need more than 50 cents. So why not ask me for an amount that can help get you out of your situation and not just get you through the past hour? Like you are past and beyond the point where 50 cent is going to elevate your life. Like, why don't you ask me for a hundred dollars, you know, a thousand, whatever, right? Ask me for what you need and what can at least get you out of your situation or bring you a lot closer. But 50 cent definitely isn't going to do it. I promise you the moment the thought came to my head, it was like God spoke to me and says, wow, I say the same thing about you. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was like, Jesus, is that you? I didn't know you were petty like that. For real, you just gonna go straight at my soul like that? So I was sitting there thinking like, dang. I'm thinking I'm doing good. Clearly, I need to be asking for more. So I was like, clearly, I'm gonna have to change the whole way I approach life and what I'm gonna ask life to provide and ask myself to provide and pray and all of these things. But like, why do we do that? Are we really asking for what we need to truly elevate ourselves out of our situation? Or are we asking for just enough to get us past the current predicament? That's the question for the day. What are you asking for out of life? Because the moment I thought I was casting judgment on this guy, like, why would he just ask me for 50 cents? Like, I got all kind of whole dollars in my pocket. I got, you know... Something that can at least get you a hotel for the night. Ask for something that you really, really need. You know, he could ask me for a job. I have plenty of things that could be done that I'd be willing to pay some good money for. 
ain't like clearing my yard. But that's on a whole different tip. And I'm just sitting there like, wow, Yannick, you're not really much different from him. You're not asking for the things that can really get you to the next level and extremely and, and like just far, far out of your situation. So that's my story time. Have y'all ever had moments like this where you just had like an instant rebuke? Like, boom. Like, since we're on the topic, um, let me tell you about you, my child of God. Why are you asking him about this? What about the things that you don't ask me for that you need to be asking for? <sighs> anyway, y'all enjoy your weekend, your day, wherever it is, or whenever you're watching this. Bye.